By the way, you didn't get captured by Dante yesterday, did you, Kaito? Yeah, do you have a flash though? Mm. Where were you? What were you doing? Were you committing murder? Okay. I was running around the whole time. I had bathrooms, bedrooms, all over the school. All the small places Gonta can't reach is probably. Mm. Mm. I see. Ellipses. Okay, that's it? So wait, we didn't actually... We didn't actually ask him the exact thing I wanted to ask him. Fucking, what the fuck fuck? Let's <sighs> just fucking knock everything away. You just don't care. Right is black and black is white. Something, something, hold me down. Okay. What are you? No. Hmm. What are you doing here, Samugi? Um. I'm investigating. I know, I'm playing. Stop it. That's really starting to piss me off. I said I think you might end up living to the end, but I'm hoping you, like, are the victim of case three or something. I could see that happening. Anyways, um, or you could be the killer in this case. I don't know. But it's just, oh, that play thing's really starting to bug me. Uh, it's plain to see I'm plainly investigating. Plainly. Uh, okay. Is that so? What about the square glass plane? Uh? Hey, so... You find any clues? Uh... I'm still thinking about that. Plainly. Hmm. Isn't that plain to see? Yeah. I don't think you can uncover clues just by thinking about them. But yeah, you can. Sometimes that's what detective work is all about. You put one plus one and it equals five, and you're like, well, that's not right, so there's a clue. No. In fact, I still haven't found anything. Yeah. And get to it, looking around, it's how you find clues. But. I think leaving that guy alone is just plain bad. Well, it is bad. Smoogie gave uh, Kikichi a meaningful glance. If he wants to ditch you, he could probably very easily ditch you. You are getting to travel with him because he allows it. Hey! I decided to plainly keep an eye on him. I.e., you aren't going to help doing any investigating because you don't think you're smart enough, so you're going to waste time doing something meaningless. That way, even plain old me can help out. And can you really? Mm. Pretty sure if he wanted to give you the slip, it, he could. Um, so I guess we're focusing on the water tank, huh? Huge water tank. It looks like the one that was used in Himiko's show. So... It looks like the same tank Himiko used in the show. I guess this one was a backup. Sure. That's what Himiko told me and Kibo when we carried the tank out of here. Or you use two tanks for the old switcheroo! I don't know. Then... Perhaps if we investigate this tank, we can learn the secret of the trick. Courage I began walking around the tank, but then were immediately discouraged. Looking for anything that could be a switch or a mechanism. Hmm. What's this? Arrangement of the tank near the top that opens up, but why open up there? Aha! Uh -huh. Is this going to be similar to the glass plane placement? Wait, perhaps it isn't random. This segment had to open up here. Okay, water tank trick. Interesting. And that's it? Wait, we haven't even been in Ryoma's room yet. Already tired of investigating? Oh, you've been tired of it for a while now? Oh, no, we have been in Ryoma's room. Sorry, that's right. It's just, uh, we didn't actually see his motor video, so I'm like, no, we couldn't have been in his room yet. But anyways, yeah, sorry. I psyched myself out there for a second. Um... So, I guess this is all the truth bullets, then. Interesting. And we never even got to ask Koki- It's so stupid. Hey, Kokichi, was his video in there when you checked? I mean, come on. That's what I care about way more than the other stuff. Okay, how, exactly how many pieces of evidence do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, seventeen. Seventeen pieces of evidence. Is that more or less the case one? Don't remember, whatever, moving on. Well, that's how it goes. Investigations aren't all that fun, you see. Eh, it depends on the game. Are you downplaying your own investigation segment, saying they suck dick? But it's a necessary step before we can move on to the main event. Or you could just throw all the evidence at us and say, deal with it. Kind of like searching the internet for that perfect porno video. No, there's no point. I mean, 
at this point, it's so easy to find porn on the internet. Like, go out of your way to look for it. It's just, it's just meaningless. I mean, uh... In fact, some people think the search is the best part. Weird, huh? Anyway! The class trial is starting soon. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. Yes, Monoku, ma'am. <laughs> See you later. Shuichi. Looks like it's time, bro. Don't call me bro, man. Don't call me man, dude. Don't call me dude, brother. Don't call me brother, sister. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ellipses. Dumbass. Why you look so worried for now? Don't worry about it. You can do it. I believe in you. Uh, last time someone said that, they were the killer. So uh, watch what you say. Believe in me? Uh, yeah. Flashback time. Why? Uh, this would have been the perfect time for that flashback. But okay. Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the call. Idiot. Believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? There's a chance I'm the culprit too, so... da doy Huh? What? Listen up. Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? And why Kaede believed in you? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but... I believe in you. If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Yeah. I mean, you do want to have some hesitation, but it's true. You can't let potential betrayals get in the way of all forms of trust. Ellipses. Shuichi! That's what leads to seclusion and sometimes insanity. Uh, we're still young. I can't die before I've had my first drink or gone to space. Um, sure you can. You just don't wanna. Let's do it. If you're not gonna get yourself in gear now, then when? Now's all you've got. Ellipses. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Kaito. I know. Keep your chin up. That's the expression I wanted to see. That's my sidekick. He's right. I just have to do it. I have to believe in myself. I have to believe that I can do this. Believe. 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 Which one of you motherfuckers wasn't believing hard enough? I'm gonna survive. We're gonna survive. Together. Except for one of us. Who's the killer? They're not gonna survive. What you say? That's it. Maybe I don't really understand it. Maybe I don't have a reason. But. I don't want to live. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I don't. I want to die with everyone else. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, I want to live. Fuck that Matrix bullshit. Didn't even like the Matrix anyway. I, I didn't even see the Matrix anyway, but I heard the sequels were bad, so I didn't even like the Matrix anyway. Uh, I can't die in a place like this. Never! Uh huh. I will say, I'm paying slightly more attention to his inner monologue now. I'm pretty sure they're not going to throw us for another fast one. But I'm pretty sure he's not the killer. All things considered. Pretty darn sure. Um... That said, I'm still very curious what the Kaito inner monologue is about, because that was a load of bullshit. Um, is anybody anywhere? Nowhere? You sure? Usually somebody's there on the way to the Shrine of Truth, aren't they? Let's take the long walk. Take the long way home. Hopefully I still remember how to get out of here. Which floor are we on? Are we on the first or the second? Oh, we're on the first because this is the way out. Yes. <laughs> I'm kind of sort of learning the layout now. Kind of sort of. By the time we get to the end of the game, I may have mastered it, maybe. Why weren't you on the map? Don't worry about it. Oh, because you're my partner. I guess that's why. I believe in you. Let's get to that shrine. I've got right. Take the... I... I'd walk there to increase ambiance, but I kind of just want to get the fuck to there right now. Like, all speedy, like, speedy Gonzales. Just Kaito over and over again. Stop showing up in front of my face! Kaito, kiddo. Oh, 
Oh boy, the fancy pants again. Everyone, is everyone okay? <sighs> not like we have choice, right? We must be okay or not okay. To be okay or not to be okay. That is the insect. <laughs> you are quick to understand. It's as though Monokuma has you trained. We got nothing to worry about, right, assholes? We'll figure out the copper, won't we? Don't worry. Of course we don't need to worry. The top suspect is super obvious this time, which is why it's obviously not them. Hey! Right, here we go! Ellipses. <laughs> How dare you bully Himiko, you degenerate! You want me to Aikido chop your head off, huh? It actually would be an interesting twist if Himiko was the murderer. I don't think they're gonna go there, but it would be, um... I wouldn't see it coming, honestly, because they're making it so obvious that she, you know, but... Wait! That's not even Aikido anymore, is it? Either way. This matter will be discussed in due time. You should save your arguments until then. Indeed. And I'm very much hoping you're not the killer, Kurumi. I'm seeing a lot of evidence pointing to you, and I hope it's all bullshit. That's right. Let's put an end to this at the class try. You're right. Indeed. Oh, that's right, we never even asked everyone else, hey, whose video does everybody have? So we can figure out maybe who Ryoma's had by, you know, process of elimination. But nope, we didn't do that, because you're a derp, Shoichi! Now's the time! And I guess you could wait for the trial, but, meh. Yeah. Alright, I guess we'll talk to everyone first, because I missed my chance to do this last time. Um, I'm a right-to-left kind of man. Yeah, that way we can end with Kokichi anyways. Alright, first is the worst, in this case. No. And second is kind of sort of the best. Himiko is not the culprit. No way and no how. I know Himiko better than anyone. I know all our secrets. I don't believe you. Um, what? Did you get her motive video? I'm, I'm pretty sure Anji got her motive video. I, I could be wrong. I know her gender, her hair color, or even her height. I think we all know that. None of those are secrets. Well, I mean, there are these things called traps, but... Uh, because I said second is the best, I don't want to defy that, and I'll go with Kurumi next. Please say you're not the killer. Do you agree? This matter will be discussed in due time. We should save our arguments until then. That's something the killer would say as to not give away their bullshit! Kibo. <sighs> I did not calculate that we would gather here under these circumstances again. You're a pretty shitty calculator then, huh? Can you at least do two times two? Times two? What would Kaede say if she saw us right now? She'd say, fuck, I died for nothing. I should have taken that first blood perk. No, she wouldn't. She's uh, not that selfish, but... Or I guess you should say, she's not that unselfless? I don't know. Anyways, uh, da da Himiko. Yeah, yeah. Really? This whole thing is shaking like a big old vibrator. Himiko's scared, poor little thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I got a potty. Mm. This vibration is perfect. I didn't think they were here. Okay, it's an odd place to go. Huh. Quit looking at Himiko like some kind of degenerate male. You're the one who looks at her like a degenerate male the most, Tenko, and you know it. That was an odd conversation. Okay, Maki. Well. Sorry, but I don't know anything. If you think a child caregiver can get and solve a murder case, then we're all in trouble. I suppose we are. Correct, yo? Say. This murder was also triggered by Monokuma's motive, was it not? That's likely. Which means there's a reason the culprit was desperate to live, yes? Quite possibly. And Ryoma, who became the victim, had no reason to live, correct? I'm not so sure about that. What are you implying? If so... To kill because you have a reason to live, to die because you have no reason to live. Which I wonder is correct. Um... None of the above? Usually. Depends on the circumstances. If you kill in self-defense, then sure. Um... If you die in self-defense, then sure? Jeez. You're thinking too hard about it. Living things, uh, just gotta live. Well, yeah. People live so that they can continue to live. Or something. Oh, yes. No, go away. How do I get this to go away? Just just go away. Go away. Okay. 
Anyway, no matter what happens to us, no matter now what happens, we will always keep on running. We gotta live. Right? Live and learn. Sorry, I'm in the Sonic mood for some reason. You don't really need a reason to live. That's just the icing on the cake. A reason to live. Okay, and uh, I'll stop. Uh, actually, I'll cut. You know what? I went left, right to left, but now I'll go left to right so I can end on Kaito. So, first, the best for first. What? All right. In this case will be so easy, especially with how obvious the top suspect is. Right, Mimiko? Oh. Eh. Mm -hmm. I hear male males pick on girls they like to get their attention, which means Kokishi must like Himiko. Uh, I'm pretty sure, Tenko, you're picking on Himiko more than anyone else, but, yeah. Oh? How'd you know? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why don't we focus on the class trial and save the conversation for later? The confession, even. This is turning out to be not so boring after all. Ellipses. Alright, uh, Samugi? Certainly. Himiko is so suspicious she's gotta be a red herring, right? <laughs> That's what you think. I'm surprised no one's brought up that Anji is so suspicious she's gotta be a red herring. Because Anji's the one who seems more weird to me. Like, why did she feel so suddenly wanting to help uh, Himiko with her thing? Um... Then again, she didn't have to bring up to us that uh, the piranhas felt all chunked in and stuff. Um, because that's potentially revealing that Ryoma was hidden in there, which you might not find out otherwise. But uh, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it's not Anji either. That would also be too obvious in my opinion. I'm just pretty surprised no one's bringing that up. I don't even know where to start unraveling the truth. Aww. I should have played more point-and-click adventure games. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. I remember when, like, uh, Dual Destinies or something came out, and it said in the trailer, the the best adventure series of all time! And I remember some people, like, watched that and were like, wait, an adventure? Yeah, this is an adventure game? Point and click adventure, but they're thinking, like, you know, action adventure like Zelda. I'm like, what? I don't know. Anji? <laughs> we have nothing to worry about. Because Atua is watching over us. Atua sees all. Her divine... Deduction will solve the mystery right away. Wait, did you say her? Cause Atua is watching over us. Oh no, you said his. I read it wrong. That's my bad. Gonta. <laughs> Gonta not want to suspect friends. That was short and sweet. Mew. Detective dumbass, you pinpointed a possible culprit, right? Um, a, a couple? Honestly, my most suspicious suspicious is someone who I'm very hoping it's not, but, yeah. And that just leaves Kaito. Listen up. Shruchi, before we head over there, let me give you some advice here with a sidekick. If you want to give up, wait until after you've done everything you possibly can. And then even still, please don't give up, that'd be stupid. Of course! Wait, no, that's still no good. Okay, I won't forgive you if you give up. Uh, you got it? Okay. Yeah, I got it, Kaito. He's right, I can't give up. I made a promise to Kaya that. Indeed, I would take over as the main character. So let's do it. Monokuma statue, go! Rumble, rumble. Oh shit. Once again, Jesus Kuma is born. Or dies, or something. One or the other. And the elevator ride commences once again. Do I appear before us with pomp as if sending heroes off to war? After a pause, we all step toward the door. Either one of us, or 13 of us, are about to die. Unless this was the suicide, but I don't think so. We were silent. All I could hear was our unsteady breathing. Just as we pass through the door. It went down. Like an elevator does. It started up again. Actually, it started down. Pay attention. Go pay attention, um... Shoichi. Normally, I wouldn't mind the shaking. But... But I'm feeling especially sensitive to it now. 
Oh, I don't remember last time. I think they're standing in the same positions as last time. I'm not entirely sure. Because um, I know Shuichi doesn't have his hat on this time. I'm not sure if that's where he was standing last time or if that's where Kaede was standing last time, but whichever the case. Each of us felt the trembling through our entire bodies as we sank further to step. There's some of them we can't really see right now. What button do I press to L1? Okay, so, yeah, some of the girls are hard to see. Without sure footing, I'm positive I would have fallen as well. My breathing was becoming more ragged. My heart pounding harder and harder, stronger and faster. Just when I thought I would pass out from the nerves, we reached the bottom. The elevator came to a stop. This wasn't the end, no. It was only just the beginning. I mean, it's going to be the end of the video, but sure. You've hopelessly arrived once again! Hmm? You want to come here again because of how wonderful it is? You had such a fun time last time, right? Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort into building this place. It should be a monument. Aww. Actually, we're the ones who used the ex easels to build this courtroom, but whatever. Father just took all the credit! Wonderful. But I am happy to be used as a slave by Father! Oh, wow. First blush I think we've seen from Monodam. What are you saying? We need to really commit into this henchman bit. Oh, looks like he's blushing too, though. They're so cute. You guys are just so cute that I can't help working you to the bone. <laughs> you put a lot of elaborate detail into this cut room. Almost like it's for a show. Oh? It's for show and for a show. For show, huh? That's an interesting way to put it. Hmm? Is this just for show? Are you showing this to the people outside and... Oh, pff. No, that was what happened in Danganronpa 1, slash 2. <laughs> Those people aren't with us. You don't need to worry about them. Get it? They're not with us. As in, they're no longer with us. You know what I mean? Hey, um... In other words, you 13 are the only ones left in the world. Oh, wait, that's right, there's 13 of us. Okay, so either one of us dies or 12 of us die. That's right, that's right, that's right. Now, show me just how you intend to bargain for your lives. Also, we're at the unlucky 13 number. Booga, booga, booga. Then, the class trial began. Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate badass. After falling from his former glory, he told us he had no reason to live. Even so, he said he wanted to fight beside us to get out of here with us. And then someone went and killed him, the fucking fuck! But Dad was trying to find a reason to live. He might have been a little stern, but he wasn't a cold man at all. And he liked animals! Oh fuck, he got killed by animals and he liked animals. That sucks. The person who killed him... ...is here right now. Oh god, that Ryoma eye is just... Ugh. That is bugger bugger. I want to believe that's a lie. I don't want to believe it at all. But... Oh, everyone's still living on this screen. Which increases the likelihood someone on this screen is gonna die! So, shoot Correcchio! Uh, I still have this gut feeling it's Correcchio. Anyways, if this is where I find the truth, I won't avert my eyes anymore. This is the wish she entrusted to me. Yep, dead center, and she's dead. I will find the truth. Get her here with everyone. Alive. Indeed, yeah, I think, yes, that's the only screen that has no one dead yet. Which increases the likelihood. I'm going to survive. Can't die here, nor keep my promise to her. I will fight. I'll fight for my life of this trial of truth and lies!